The Sears catalog started off as a mail-order watch business in the late 1800s. It used the railroad to connect consumers to anything their hearts desired. Watches were important because the railroad had just helped the U.S. realize that they needed standard time in order for all the different stations to be on the same page. One of the surprising constants throughout the years of the catalog was the availability of mail-order firearms of all types. Can you imagine if anyone with an address could just purchase a gun whenever they wanted? My favorite one on the list has to be the wide variety of houses you could buy. Some of them are still standing to this day. You could even get a car to park in the driveway of your new house. There are stories of many mail-order animals on the internet, but the only one I could truly corroborate was mail-order chickens. Not quite as cool as this monkey story, but still pretty awesome. I haven't purchased or really used a VCR in years, but this portable VCR for over 1K looks pretty awesome. I could have made this entire list about all the crazy medicinal snake oil type remedies that you could purchase, but by far the most bizarre was Dr. Rose's French arsenic complexion wafers. If those toxic arsenic wafers didn't get you back into fighting shape, then you could purchase this electric belt that tried to blend everyone's newfound admiration of electricity with the new health and fitness craze at the turn of the 20th century. If the poisonous wafers and the electric belt somehow killed you, your family could actually purchase a headstone from this amazing selection. On a lighter note, you could also purchase your wedding bands through the catalog. Although it no longer exists, the Sears catalog is an important piece of American history that gives us major insights into historical trends. Not only do kids love making their wish lists, but some historians argue that it actually fought against racism in rural areas during the Jim Crow era by creating better access to everyday goods. What do you remember about the Sears catalog? And as always, what did I leave off the list? 